What I really like about Vintage Story is that it never stops to amaze me with the huge amount of tiny features which I literally find every day. Hello everyone, Edgy here, and did you know that all features can be explained? Well, almost everything in this game has a story behind it, whether it's a mob gear as the currency, temporal stability, or even ruins and dungeons, it's all written in the books which you can dig and wash out of the bone soil. Well, how about having collectible natural stones? You can easily get the natural stone blocks if you turn them into chisel blocks first by simply right-clicking with a chisel onto the block. But don't get caught, because you can't really use them for mechanisms or even prospecting ores. You can also do stone skipping. Can you imagine throwing rocks across the water and seeing that stone skipping effect? Or how about having a workable thighs with two modules, one is for trimming the grass, while another one is for cutting the crops, for example, which actually looks pretty awesome. Or did you know that the prospecting pig has also two modules, but one is just hidden because you need to type a command and restart your game for the module to work, relaunch the game and here you go, now you can actually prospect for ores and minerals much more effectively. You can also disassemble tools using the chisel. Early in the game it may be hard to find bronze or bismuth, but if you happen to dig out some bronze or bismuth items from the bone soil, you can use your chisel against the item and have it broken down to 20 nuggets, which is just enough for one ingot to craft your next tool. Or did you know that arrows don't get the fire aspect enchantment when shot through lava? You know that in Minecraft you can shoot through lava and have arrows enchanted, which gives them the burn effect and can actually ignite a dynamite, for example. Well, in Vintage Story, arrows seemingly get the same effect, but uh, nope, not really. They actually just burn out. Wow, mind's blowing, isn't it? <laughs> Another thing that can burn out is you running miles away to find that goddamn halite, bauxite or limestone. Well, not really, it's a torch. Because torches can burn out if you place them on the floor or directly onto the wall without using a torch holder. However, the torches don't burn if you just have them in your hand as a light source. And if you're annoyed just like me when you jump in water while forgetting about the torches in your hand, then just use a fat and a bowl to make an oil lamp. Well, another thing is that cooling off hot tool pieces is unnecessary. Did you know about that cool mechanic of the tool part cooling off when thrown in water? Well, for the RP experience you can certainly do that after smithing, but it makes no use because you can instantly put it on a stick to make your tool. And finally, stone generator. Just like in Minecraft, you can also build a stone generator here, using the similar method. The only thing is that it's kinda annoying, but it works if you don't want to destroy the terrain and just farm some rocks, especially when combined with the cool chisel trick to get the full blocks. Alright guys, so that is my list of the top 10 cool things about Windows Story that I didn't know. Let me know in the comments which ones you hear for the first time and share your list of the fancy features which strike you most and I'll see ya in the next one.